Hey, Joy Blue here, and I want to introduce the concept of functions in the SQL language. So if you have a number, like in this case, I'm selecting from the employee table, and there is a salary column. So that number we might want to sum or average or count, um, multiple things we may want to do. So let's see what we how we use these functions. So we have an average function, and in there we have to say what column we want to average. So we want to average the salary column. So let's go ahead and do the select AVG for average and then the column we want to average. So we're going to average across these 14 records. So execute that and our average is $2,073. So if we want to actually give this column a name, we could call it average salary. And we alias it as average salary. So let's execute that and now we have an average salary. So what if we want to see the maximum salary? Well, there's also a maximum function and I'm just going to make a new column here. I'm going to say max salary as max salary. And let's run that. So someone makes $5,000 a month, I guess that is, and versus the average of 2073. So now, what if we want to see who makes the minimum? There's also a min function. And so let's execute that. You can see we're building quite a bit of a query here. And so if we want to know how many people actually have a salary, there's also a count function. And so, that's an introduction into the functions. There's many different functions inside of uh, SQL Server and any relational database. Um, so in this case, we've shown you four. So that's just a quick introduction to the functions.